morning. Today is Tuesday and septic is coming. The perk test. Not the installation, but the perk test. <clears throat> A perk test is where I think it refers to percolation because that's what septics do. They percolate. So the perk test is coming. They have to dig three holes on the land. Somewhere over here in this flat, dry area. <laughs> dry. <laughs> flat area. <clears throat> Where we will be high and dry. No, uh, no worries about flooding or rain, you know, uh, washing us out. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great today at three so there's a few things i gotta do around the place and then i might go into town we'll see i don't need too many things from in town but the shower head if i want to take a shower i could work on this on the roof though they're grading the roads again so that's nice This is interesting. This is condensation. Well, it froze last night, and so it must have its own internal heater. That's water. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. Well, heading into town. Got to replace some things, return some things, and get some things. <clears throat> Got it. Oh, you can see a little bit of that dust in the sand in the bottom of that tank. See that? I don't know if you can focus in on it, but... <clears throat> anyway, got to get this relatively empty so I can take it out so I can put stuff in the back of this. The truck. That's the third hole, and up on this plateau, or this flat area, there's just a bunch of this limestone, sandstone, and um, we're going to try another spot. We're going to try it down, so that's where we want to build the house, like right here, and then we can put 100 feet of hose to the tank down here, if we can get the tank down here, so we can't put the tank up here, it's just too shallow. She's back in Minnesota. Yeah.
Well, that side of the property, we can't perk on. The, the sandstone is too close to the surface. So we're gonna try on the lower side of the property near the wash. Probably the tenth hole we've dug here. It's it's soft underneath. Oh my, that's interesting. floodplain well this is the ridge right there see this this coming down here so we could could we we couldn't perk it we couldn't put the system in the floodplain we could build a house but not no yeah no you can't put the system wow that was three hours of traipsing all over the land and trying to find a place uh, Right here, there's a couple mounds. There's a mound right there. Another mound over there. There's probably 12 mounds, 12 holes that weren't good. And then, how about that? 12 holes that weren't good. And then we found a space down by the low side where there's a wash. Just above the wash, we found a spot that could perk there's they had to dig like three or four holes and they think it'll work so i mean they have to go down like eight feet so everywhere else you hit at four feet you hit super solid stone sandstone so we made it it's cold time to go in warm and toasty in there <clears throat> <clears throat> Good morning. The sun is just about to come up. Got the generator going this morning. Look. Birdie. <clears throat> Today we get to stay on the property all day and get some work done. Well, I'm still building. My brother came out two days ago and we did the mortar lath over the whole thing. So I've been at it. I'm sorry I haven't shown you all the steps to flashing this and covering this up so that the weather and the rain keeps out. So I started with this side one first um, you basically want to have everything fold over so water dripping down will not find its way underneath. 
So that's why this is underneath this. This is on first, and then this is over this. And this goes over the stucco. So added some OSB underneath and a vent for the rafters. So if I want to insulate it, you know, it's not going to be fully insulated until later. But I got a nice big sheet on the front. It's going to hold it in. That that wind is not going to pick up on this. This will be um, screwed down from on top. So this isn't really going to flap around or anything. Well, that should keep it tight, watertight. Oh shit, it's been on the whole time. And at the end of a long day, you have a little bonfire. Warm yourself up.
enjoy the stars. Well, you can't see the stars. Never mind. <laughs> 